Right, what's up guys, JJ Richards, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you've probably seen in the title today, I'm going to be attempting to eat Eddie Hall's 16,000 calorie world strongest man diet. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly excited, but also slightly nervous about this one because some of the foods that I get to eat today, I've not eaten for such a long time, and I'm super excited, especially the full English breakfast, which is meal number one. I cannot wait to eat that. However, I'm also slightly nervous because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to consume all of the food that is in Eddie Hall's diet because I've never consumed 16,000 calories in a single day in my life. So, before we get into today's video guys, please don't forget to smash the like button on this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome, but make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm on a mission to get 500 subscribers before Christmas, and if we get there, I've got the best, best giveaway ever, so make sure you subscribe. So, let's crack on guys. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, just woken up, so time for meal number one. So let's get that prepared now. Right then, so here we have meal number one, which is breakfast number one. He has two breakfasts, of course he does, why wouldn't he? So, first breakfast is a full English, which is probably the meal I'm most looking forward to today because I've not had a full English breakfast for such a long time and this looks insane. So what we've got here is four sausages, four bacon, two hash browns, four toast, two eggs, beans, tomato, and a pint of orange juice. So calories here, according to Eddie Hall, is 2,000 calories. So we're gonna try and get this first meal down. Condiments of choice, brown and tomato. You gotta to have them both. Right, so I'm excited about this. So the portion size on this doesn't really scare me too much because um, when it comes to full English breakfast, I've been known to put in some serious calories down at the Premier Inn breakfast. If you've been to the Premier Inn breakfast, you can appreciate how good it is. Right, so let's go. Right, meal number one, done. It's actually really easy. Like I said, I can eat some full English breakfast. And I actually might consider being a strong man because if that's what you get to eat every day, excuse me, winning. Right, so in true strong man tradition, after meal number one, you go back upstairs and go back to bed. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. Right, so just woken up now from a little power snooze, Finn is awake, all dressed, ready for school. So this here then is breakfast number two. So what we've got in here is there is 100 grams of oats with full fat milk. I've got some fruits, I've got a banana, I've got a box of sultanas and blueberries. I've also got um, four scoops of protein. So I've actually mixed the protein in with the porridge because it tastes nicer. And the only slight deviation off of Eddie's plan is he has 
a spoon of Nutella. However, because I have two children in the house, if we buy Nutella from the shop, it will literally last. It doesn't even make the cupboard. It literally goes from the bag, into the kids' hands, into the mouth, into the bin. It literally doesn't make it to the cupboard. So instead of Nutella, I've gone for jam instead, but the calories are still the same. Right, so Finley is joining the challenge a little bit later because he was sleeping during meal number one. But what have you got in your bowl? Some uh, uh, porridge. He's got porridge. And what else have you got in there? You've got porridge, jam. Jam. And some syrup. Syrup. Good. So there's about 1,400 calories here. So that kind of takes us up to about 3,400 already. And it's only just gone 8 o'clock. So, so far, we're doing well. Right, I'm actually looking forward to this because this is like my typical breakfast. Finished. Huh? Aww, you win. <clears throat> right, meal number two, smashed. Again, no problem. This is kind of my typical breakfast anyway, and it tastes unbelievable, so I really like this one. So, two meals down, it's literally five past eight. We're doing good, 3,400 calories down. Got some bigger meals later, which are causing me a little bit of anxiety, but we'll get it done. Right, so, literally, in true strongman style, kid's gonna go to school. I'm going to go back to bed. So I'm literally considering doing strongman because if you just get to eat nice food and sleep and train, sounds like a bit of a winner to me. Right, so the time is now literally half past nine. So I'm going to have the morning snack. So I'm just taking the kids to school. We actually walk there and back. It's probably about a uh, a 30, 35 minute round trip in total, so enough just to get the appetite going, get that food moving a little bit. So I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have the next meal, which is literally a snack, it's 150 grams of cashew nuts, and then there is a pint of cranberry juice. I've actually never tried cranberry juice before. This is the first time I've ever tried it. And it's gross. Ugh. I don't know if I could drink that every single day out of choice. Orange juice is good, but cranberry juice is not good. So I could sit and chill in bed. I'm not going to sleep this time, though. I'm actually going to do some work, I promise. And I'm going to eat my cashew nuts, drink this disgusting cranberry juice, and then we've got a big meal that's going to be going down next. Which I'm a little bit nervous about, but I'm excited for the pudding. So catch you guys at the next meal. Right, so it's now half past 12, so this is the next meal on the diet today. So this is basically his dinner that he has every day. So this is probably the meal I'm least looking forward to because if you look at that, that is a ridiculous portion. So there's half a kilo of pasta and there's 300 grams of steak. And he has mayonnaise with this meal, however, there's no way in hell I'm eating mayonnaise because I absolutely hate it. However, this stuff is pretty much the same in regards to macro, so this is just like a vegan spicy mo that I'm having on it as well. So I've got to eat this, and just to make things even worse, I say worse, I'm actually looking forward to it, is for pudding I've got to eat half a family cheesecake. So I may eat it straight after that, I may have a break in between, I'm gonna see how it goes, but right. Lunch time, bon appetit. wasn't too bad the, the pasta was actually quite easy to eat but I have got a bit of the case of meat sweats on the go so I'm gonna go outside get some fresh air and come back in and get smashing that cheesecake right pudding time I'm actually looking forward to this
That's good. Right, there you go. Cheesecake smashed. So, like a too strong man, guess what I'm going to do next? Go to sleep, because that's all strong men do. Eat, train, and sleep. So, you're going to go to bed, and then the next meal is pre workout, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to train with all this food in my stomach, especially because it's supposed to be leg day, but we'll see how we get on. Right, see you at the next meal. Right, so it's now time for another meal. So this one is usually um, his pre-workout meal. Uh, this is gonna be my pre-workout meal, but I'm not gonna train straight away. So the time is now two o'clock. So I'm gonna eat this, go and walk to pick the kids up from school in about an hour, come back home, hopefully the food's digested, then I'm gonna train. So I'm doing legs today, and there's no way I'm gonna train legs or do any kind of squats when I've got this amount of food in my stomach. It's gonna end one way and that ain't gonna be pleasant. So this meal, there's two tuna sandwiches, a pack of granola. I've actually already eaten two of these squares whilst I was prepping the sandwich because they are unbelievable. Two pieces of fruit. I've just got some water as well. So at the end of this meal, the total calories are gonna be 10,630, and it's only two o'clock, so we're doing quite well. So. The tactic of getting the food in early definitely paid off because the biggest meal of the day is gonna be the last meal of the day. So I'll try and make sure there's quite a decent gap before I eat that because I'm confident I'm gonna smash this diet up no problem whatsoever. Right, I say that now, I may have jinxed myself, but I'm gonna eat this meal now. It's actually quite a nice one. I've not had a tuna sandwich in quite a while, so I'm quite looking forward to it, but let's go. Right, so that is that meal finished. If anyone says I failed because I didn't eat the crust, then screw you. I made this sandwich like about 10 o'clock this morning for my thumbnail and the crust is super stale so it does not taste good. So if anyone whinges that I failed because I didn't eat that crust, go to hell. Right, so that was probably the hardest meal I've actually eaten so far today. I think it was just the amount of bread and the flapjack. My jaw's actually hurting from chewing through all that flapjack so so far so good, so I'm gonna go for a walk in an hour, get the food moving a little bit, and then we're gonna train, and hopefully the food's digested before that, because at the moment my stomach feels like it's ready to explode, and I cannot think of anything worse than getting under a squat right now and performing a squat. So, go chill out again, and then, excuse me, Jesus, we'll catch you guys in the gym. Well, as this video is dedicated to Eddie Hall, I thought let's christen the Alpha Beast smelling salts for this set. Sky. 
clouds I can't forget you out now I see all blue There is so much cold in you It's so uncomfortable on my stomach <laughs> Right, so probably about halfway through the workout now. And this is one of the things that he does that I find very, very strange. So during the workout, he will have 100 grams of beef and also four scoops of protein with whole milk. So I've always been against eating whilst training just because the blood is then all focused and moving towards the gut to start breaking down the food rather than going towards the muscles that you're working and trying to get the nutrition to the muscles. So something that's very foreign to me, and I'm not gonna lie, training today is very, very difficult because my stomach is just ridiculous. No wonder strongmen take so long to rest between sets because literally you're trying to not throw up after every single set. Those deadlifts are ridiculous. Like, the weight wasn't too bad, but every time I went down, my stomach just felt so uncomfortable against the belt. It was miserable. But anyway, we set out to fulfill a mission, and that was to complete Eddie Hall's diet. So that's what we are going to do. Cheers. It needs ketchup. Right, so it is now time for tea. This is probably the biggest meal of the day that I've kind of been dreading the most, but I think I've said that about most meals so far. So this good old fashioned homemade spaghetti bolognese. So there's half a kilo of mince, half a kilo of pasta, and you've got to have cheese on top. You cannot have a spag bol without cheese, and also got a full garlic bread to eat that with it. So I'm gonna eat this now, and then we've got pudding to eat afterwards, but whether or not I need to have a break in between those, I'll let you guys know, but right. I am looking forward to this because it's gonna be delicious, but the portion size slightly scares me a little bit. Final mouthful. Uh. Done. Thankfully, it tasted really, really nice. So, even though I was force feeding it in at the end, it wasn't too bad. Um, but I'm definitely full. So, I'm going to have a little bit of a break now and then. We're gonna crack on with pudding, and then we are nearly finished, and we have nearly completed the mission for today. So I'm excited to get it done. I'm excited to go to bed. I'm literally borderline food coma right now. So I'm gonna lie down, and then, then pudding time. 
Right, so it's probably about half an hour since we've just had that massive meal. So the last thing to eat is the second half of the cheesecake. Ooh, and also, not forgetting, a protein bath before bed. So once I've finished this cheesecake, then eating the protein bar, then the total calories for the day, according to Eddie's calculations, 16,164 calories. And my stomach feels like I have a small baby in there. I need to give birth any second because it is very, very uncomfortable, but we're committed. So, final bit, cheesecake. Mm. Done. All right. Oh, so, Eddie Hall's World Strongest Man Diet. Done. Whoa. Definitely gets harder as you progress through the day. Like, if you want to try this, give it a go. But it starts pretty easy, ends very difficult. It's just... It's, although it's like 16,000 calories, it's quite calorie dense food, so it's not like red meat, pastas, bread, so it's not like you're just eating pizza and just loads and loads of junk food where it's really easy to consume large amounts of calories. It's quite difficult to do, but I did it, happy with that. Just gonna go upstairs, eat this in about an hour, and I'm gonna sleep like a little baby tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I can't decide yet whether I enjoyed making it or not. However, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's the least you can do after I've put my body through this terrible, terrible pain that it's been in all day. So thanks for watching guys. If there's any challenges you want me to do next time, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll give them a go. Probably gonna do a no carb day tomorrow just to try and get rid of some of this bloat in my stomach so I can kind of look like a bodybuilder again. Cause look at this. I believe in strongman, that's what they call the power belly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.